My name is uh, George Deek and I work at the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs as an Israeli diplomat. I come from the uh, city of Jaffa. I'm 31 years old. I uh, was brought up in a mixed city where we had, for example, my building. We were an Arab Christian family and across us was an Arab Muslim family. Above them lived a Jewish religious couple and above us on our side uh, lived a Catholic priest who was a Jew saved by a monastery in the Holocaust converted to Christianity and agreed to become a priest on the condition that he would serve in the land of his people in Israel. He's probably the only Catholic priest you will find who has a mezuzah on his door. And this is the reality I grew up upon. Uh, and nothing seemed more normal than living together side by side. When I grew up in my city, I was uh, very active in different social activities for my Arab Christian community in the Boy Scouts. I was guiding uh, groups. I was uh, the uh, leader of the marching band of our community and I still play the trumpet with them every year. Even when I served abroad, I made sure on every Easter I'm back playing the trumpet with my uh, marching band. I'm that annoying kid who plays the trumpet in his apartment, uh, annoying the rest of the neighbors. And uh, I, was, uh, I studied law and government I, uh, as, and I worked as a lawyer. I studied at the IDC in Herzliya and um, I was very active in uh, activities trying to build bridges between Arabs and Jews in Israel and uh, beyond. I was leading and uh, participating in several delegations of Arabs and Jews to different places in the world trying to build bridges and create understanding as well as within Israel, within Christians and Muslims in the Arab community in Jaffa, but mostly between Arabs and Jews in general. What we see today in our region in the Middle East, unfortunately, is a move from diversity to uniformity, a move from a place where we had some of the most ancient cultures of the world that has influenced all of us, Christians, Yazidis, Baha'i, Sunnis, Shiites, Druze, and more. And what we're seeing today is a reality where anyone who is not like me, anyone who is different, is being targeted. Israel is important, not just for the Jewish people, but for the entire Middle East, because it is the only minority, the Jewish minority, the state of Israel, the only minority that has the will and the capability to sustain its existence in that land. And it is the chance for the Arab world to say that after many years of wars and terror and uh, demonization and boycott, that this is the chance to be open and receptive towards a country that is neither Arab nor Muslim to a country that is different. And I believe that openness towards Israel and acceptance of that is also part uh, of healing the wounds of the Arab world today, which is also openness and tolerance to people who are coming from different religions and aspects. And I hope that for the future, Israel will also continue to serve as an example to the rest of the region that despite its problems and despite the uh, issues that we're facing internally in Israel, either in the relations between Jews and Arabs, and we have a lot of challenges there, or between uh, uh, rich and poor people, uh, we have the socioeconomic issues. But despite all that, Israel is an example how openness to people who are different brings openness to ideas that are different. How a country where Christians like me can wear a cross without fear, Jews can walk the streets with a kippah without fear, Muslims can build mosques and wear hijab anywhere, Druze and Cherkessians feel safe, and the Baha'i build their dazzling temple in Haifa. Openness and pluralism that allows people to live their faith and their culture and their identity without fear created a country that is contributing so much to the well-being of the world in innovation, in economy, in agriculture, medicine, and technology. And that, I believe, has been the key in making Israel the nation that it has become. And this will be the key uh, for Israel to be a part of making our region and partnering with our region to make it a place of openness and tolerance, which will also bring prosperity and progress.